Hey everybody, it's Tavis Age, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fire Emblem Three Houses. If you did not see the last episode, make sure to go check that out, because shit did go down, and this is post-shit going down, and we're literally just in this battle, so we might as well start right off the bat, because it's kind of midway here. We've got two more beasts coming for us, and then obviously lots of other dangers. Now, Savage is a new bad bitch, but we gotta be careful here. Regardless, I do want to bring Raphael up into the front lines. I do want to bring Hilda up here. And Leone. Maybe Leone can... Well, not yet. There's no reason for her to get hit by the beast right now. Flame, let's get you up here. We might need to have most people stay in the trees a little bit more so then they're a little safer, but we might be okay. Regardless, like some of these guys, I just want to get them out of the trees so they can actually move a little bit and help us. Mages, specifically. Because when they're in the trees, they can't do much. Ooh, a training axe. Nobody asked for that. <laughs> ever. Nobody's ever asked for that, but it's fine. With the killing edge, you'll probably kill him. There's a good chance that you will get a crit here, but let's see. You might not. And you didn't! That's okay. You'll kill him next turn. It's fine. You're fine, Savage. Everything is fine. The beasts are coming for us next turn. You fuck well. But it's fine. Axe breaker. Not that I need that, but cool. All right, everything do be moving on us, so that's an issue. Wow, that cavalry actually got a lot farther than I thought he would, and I don't know why I didn't think he was gonna get far, because he's cavalry, but. We just gotta be prepared for battle. Let's see, oh, you don't have a gambit. Well, that's a freaking issue. You do. Let's go ahead and gambit you. Usual strategy for these. And that'll at least control the aggro. That's gonna be the game here. Control the aggro. So you're pissed at Hilda, that's fine. We can have you come get get wrecked. Get wrecked by Leone. She is the superior horseman. That takes care of that. Sure does. And then she can even run back. Alright, on this side of things, it's controlling the aggro as well. Let's... If we can just keep it to just Raphael getting hit here, that'd be cool. Let's get Savage over in this battle, because we can obviously always... Um, ooh, there's a good chance we'll get a crit. We didn't. Wow, crit luck sucks today. Anyways, Marion has Psychic, so I don't worry too much about that kind of stuff. I mean, she'll just heal Savage. Perfect. Everything's good. Claude, Claude, Claudie boy. I don't really want you in range of anything too crazy. So... Yeah, Monster Blast. There we go. Perfect. Bop. First life out of him already, so that's good. Not as good as the first time we did this in the last episode. Well, not this level, but you know what I mean. When we were fighting those guys in the last episode, it was boom, boom, both monsters dead first turn. I was like, this is lit. Life is lit. But that's not the case on this one. I mean, we still we have a good start. Sorry, I'm just readjusting myself as always. I suck, I'm sorry. Um... Alright, Ignatz, Ignatz, my boy. Just get up here for support. You don't really need to be in the line of fire right now. There's no reason. But we do need to... Oh, you don't really need to be in the line of fire either, Lorenz. Oof, sorry, I'm just trying to... Oh my god! My controller! I'm obviously having a hard time getting comfortable, if you can't tell. <laughs> there we go. Um, You might as well come get this, Lysithia. Why not? Free experience for you. Lysithia, always be loving the experience. Alright, let's see how this works out for me. These guys are coming, like, they're literally just all coming at us full force. So it's kind of a survival. Oh, 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 oh. Nice, nice dodge. It's kind of just a survival time right now. Raphael, you can tank that shit all day because you're bad boy. Damn, his unit left. That sucks. Alright, um... Gambit. Get this going off. Huh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Storm him. Slash his ankles. Pretty solid plan, honestly. Nice. And then... I said you, you could probably attack him from here, can't you? Yeah. 
kill his first life. And it just like that. That range with her and that staff, I mean, it's just incredible. I think that it would be smartest, because he is pissed at Lorenz. So I think it would be smartest to have Raphael come up here. You could mace this guy. Because Marianne can psychic him. And then they're all going for Raphael. You're going for Lorenz. So Marianne, head over this way. She could do that, or she could psychic. I just want Raphael to be safe. I don't want him to be in danger. Because we're controlling the aggro of everybody right now, so it can get a little stressful. If I hit you on this weak point, can she just kill you with the steel gauntlets? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's going for the overkill, too, and getting two crits in a row. Hilda, who are you? Overkill galore, Jesus. Okay, well. Hilda showed us that she has no problem taking on anybody. So we'll just have, have Leone do her own thing over here too and kill this mage that's coming for us. This side is pretty safe. I do feel pretty safe on this side. Damn, Flane, if only you could reach, but you can't. Um, I think I want Savage to run back this way. Yeah, because he can do some damage too. Obviously, the Sublime Creator Sword could do a shit ton. But is it worth it? No. Um, did -do -do -do. Yeah, go for it. You might get a crit with this. You didn't. So that weakens him, right? So then you could potentially do nothing to him. Cool. If you get a crit here, that would be sick, Ignatz. You didn't. Hey, it's worth a shot, you know? Claude can come do it. Claude can kill the beast. Goodbye, demonic beast. Victory is mine. Good job, Claude. All right, let's see how they react to that. Coming for Raphael. It's not gonna work out well for you, sir. A steel axe, eh. Decent to have, we'll send that off. <laughs> I don't know why he thought he could come for Savage. And Savage is getting axe, ex axe experience too, so it's great. Oh yeah, you do her, Raphael. Those mages, though. Lorenz, can you do your thing here? They always get sad when you just pull out the silver lance and chop them. You can't compete with me. As a mage, they don't know what to do. All right, Lysithia. <laughs> All right, let's have Flane heal Leone. Because Leone's gonna be our boss on this side, honestly. Well, her and Hilda. Hilda, get up here with your steel axe. Leone, you may just chill as well. Lysithia will come help them out and then we're good. Marianne's gonna just straight up heal Mr. Raphael. God, she's such a strong healer. We're just gonna start trucking along up there. It's gonna take a minute, but Savage and Raphael are on their way along with Ignatz, who's meh, and Claude. Who's gonna get some experience, too? Nice, and recovered a gambit use. Always good. All right, these guys be going for Leone. <laughs> She's so strong now, it's crazy. On her stallion. Oh. You've got Psychic, okay. That's kind of rude. But, Flame can still kill him pretty easily. My brother will be pleased. Hell yeah, because you need levels, Flame. Like, you're still behind on the levels. Ah, oh, that was a shitty ass level up, though, honestly. All right, we need that healer out of our face, so just straight up chop him. You lost to me? And then we can have Leone come for the support. Weaken him up, because he'll probably just run after this then. Since he's so weak. And honestly, Lysithia could probably reach him. She can, dude. She, she's a monster, honestly. 
should be illegal. You underestimated me. Alright, really? Now it is just the climb. Alright. We gotta see what we're dealing with up there. I'm not gonna have Marianne use silence this turn, but she will be silencing once we're in range of them. You just have Nosferatu. You're the one that has Banshee, which is a rough one. So once we're in range of that, I will have Marianne use silence. Right now we're good. Now though, when we're bum rushing, ooh, that guy's gonna try to use Nosferatu on him too. But we're just gonna try to get some people running up in there. They're both going for Raphael, which really scares me. But I know Marianne can definitely silence the guy that does no sphere out to worst case scenario. Oh, she can 100% silence him too. I have no time to waste on the likes of you. That's what you think, but Marianne's gonna make you shut the hell up. Oh, he just guarded. Okay, we might be in trouble here. Is there any way? Nope. Shit. Well, what if you have warp? And you send Flane <laughs> right over here. And then Flane. Free level up for Lysithia. My efforts are paying off. Yeah, that guy was kind of a shitty level up. And then you can use rescue on him. Just get him over here next to you. He has such low resistance that I get scared. And if we weren't able to silence him, then that's a bad time for us. I'd rather terrified by you. Even though an emotion like fear has no place inside me, that means you must be eliminated. He's straight up emits Oh god. Oh god, are we gonna lose this right now? Oh god. Oh good. That other guy's running away. He just straight up admits he's afraid of us. I'm like, bruh, what do you mean? Well, Claude can kill you, and I'm gonna let him. Sorry, Solon, you're kind of a doucher. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. Excuse me? But this is not the end. Talus will carry out our mission somehow. I guess this is still far from over. But I do be thinking we got our revenge. Nice, yeah. Claude for MVP. Max out his motivation. Always a good thing. Well, at least Solon's dead. He was kind of a doucher, but it doesn't seem like he was the head honcho. He was just a doucher. Teach. We won. I'll be honest. When I lost sight of you, I broke into a cold sweat. But Gerald's killer is dead. All's well that ends well. True, I guess. You're kidding, right? I understood putting it off while we were in battle, but now that it's over, just go ahead and spit it out. That hair, those eyes, that unfathomable power. What happened out there? I guess I'll tell you. You mean to tell me that an entity who claims to be the goddess was living in your mind? And it's been that way since you were a baby? And this goddess entrusted all of her goddess-like power to you and then vanished? Pretty much, yeah. Yep. It's a difficult story to swallow, Teach. But the way you look now, I guess I've got no choice but to believe it. How could something like that happen? There must be a few in Gerald's diary. Oh, I don't know why I got disconnected. If you believe the diary, there's a high possibility that Rhea did something to you when you were born. That's likely when all this began. What in the world happened to you as a baby? And what was Rhea after? Teach! What's the matter? Did you trip or... Wait, are you sleeping? This must be an effect of the goddess's power. 
I wonder if Teach's body can handle the strain. Think, Claude, what now? Should I carry him on my back? <laughs> Easier said than done. Professor, you must remain still. What the fuck Everything happened? Everything is alright. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the Goddess. From the moment you took hold of the Sword of the Creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you, always, always and forever. Still don't know how I feel about Rhea, never knew, really knew how I felt about Rhea, Rhea's creepy. Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. It's snowy times. I think this is the month of February, which is technically my birthday month. Well, it, it's not technically. It is my birthday month. But, I mean, this month is technically my birthday month. My birthday's February 28th. So, hopefully we do something cool on the 28th day of this. 5,000. Oh, look, it literally has my birthday on there. I forgot we put that in, huh? Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. You sneaky bitch. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth enough. They will be here shortly. No more. I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. 
Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb, so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. A revelation? The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlan, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. A mission? Now? It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Strange. The occasion is too significant to be missed. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Rhea and Sedith were not their usual selves. What happened to Teach that's questionable? And what really awaits at the Holy Tomb? The way they were acting, I don't think they have any plans of sharing that information. Claude was being a little sneaky sneakerson, huh? Who's listening in? Honestly, good for him. It's Hilda's birthday. Oh man, we gotta have a tea party for Hilda. Are you kidding? What's your favorite, Hilda? What do you like? It looks like you like the chamomile the best. Thanks. Wow, wow, thanks. Get that tea, girl. This is lovely. Alright, let's talk. About gardening mishaps yes i was like hilda is such a silly like whimsical person she probably doesn't want to talk about that heavy stuff cute monks monsters someone you look up to hmm it's probably cute monks she not really want to talk about that with hilda first crushes she probably likes that yeah sounds like a hilda conversation <laughs> all right we only got two out of three hilda i'm sorry but happy birthday Lit. February 3rd is Hilda's birthday. Hanneman's birthday. Ugh. Let me just get him flowers. He's, he's kind of a weirdo. I don't really want to have a tea party. That's a little much. The Enlightened One class. Interesting. Oh, look how fancy he looks. Yeah. No, I didn't, I didn't really want to change to that right away. What the fuck? little rude that you just did that because I definitely was still working on thief so yeah I'm just gonna continue to do that and then I'll work on the enlightened one thank you very much all right Lorenzo's got some people to talk to I guess we'll listen Ugh. Hmm. it didn't work odd my logic was sound or so I thought Ah, Lysithia. I've just happened upon some lovely tea leaves. Would you care to join me for a cup? Nope. Busy. While I admire your dedication to research, you simply must take breaks now and again for the sake of your health. I am perfectly capable of knowing when to stop. I'm no child, I'll have you know. Come now. Take just a brief respite. Look, I've even brought snacks to go with the tea. Ooh. That actually looks pretty tasty. All right, all right, fine. Well, what do you think? These are made especially for my house. 
I've loved them since I was a boy. Oh, jeez. Wow. Actually, this is delicious. You have excellent taste, Lawrence. Have as much as you'd like. For the sake of our friendship, I consider it well worth the investment. I'd like to know more about you, Lysithia. Where did you learn such a command of magic? When you were a child, what kind of... <sighs> Come on. Can't we just enjoy the snacks? I loathe talking about myself. Openness is a prerequisite to successful diplomacy. You'll learn that when you take your first real steps into high society. Can you stop with the kid treatment? I mean, really, is age the only thing you consider when engaging with others? But there's nothing the matter with being young. There is a role to be played at every stage in life. That is how we learn and grow. Are you even listening? Ugh, it's like you can't even help yourself but to continue treating me like a child. I absolutely recognize your raw ability. You possess quite a rare gift for magic. I hope we can find a way for you to use that gift to help as many people as we can. Surely you can agree to that, at least. You really are relentless. I'll spell this out for you once more. I. Don't. Care. You're headstrong, just like me. That very quality will ensure a better future for Fodlan. I, sir, am nothing like you. You're bullheaded and boorish, and utterly fixated on the future. All you care about is what's to come. Sure, it's all well and good to be thinking about such lofty things. However, for me, the future's a very long ways off. Better to focus on the present, on the here and now. Thanks for the tea. Lysithia? Oh, she wasn't having any of his shit at all. Not even a little bit. <laughs> she said, shut the fuck up and get out of my face. Hey, Hilda. You said you wanted to talk? Whoa. What's with all these expensive necklaces? Why do you have them all laid out like that? Pretty, right? I'll let you choose whichever you like. Huh? Why would you do that? Just choose. I want you to have one. I'm not going to accept a gift like that without a reason. Even with a reason, I'd probably decline. Look how gorgeous they are, though. Wearing beautiful things gives you energy. Maybe for you. Yes, for me. Why would it be any different for you? Because to me, those are just fancy decorations. Take this one, for example. How did you come by it? This was the first necklace I picked out for myself. It doesn't suit my style nowadays, so I don't often wear it. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. The sentimental value of each one. These necklaces are nice and all, but I don't have any special feelings or memories about any of them. But this charm, it's packed with things I don't want to forget. Captain Gerald's teachings and a lot of memories, too. Even if, to you, it's just a dirty hunk of wood. Hmm, I do understand. But still, you're not going to be very popular with the boys if you keep wearing that dirty old thing. <laughs> like I care about that. You can drop the whole stony face to act. Come on, I'm offering to help you here. I could even make a charm for you as a gift, if you're really hung up on sentimental value. Make a charm for me? You do that? Sure, why not? I don't want you to be alone your whole life. Besides, this happens to be a talent of mine. It'll be really, really cute, so you'd better wear it. Sure. I can't just accept a gift for nothing, though. I'll make one for you, too, if you'll teach me how. And I'll put plenty of feeling into it, so when we exchange them, it will really mean something. Oh, that sounds lovely. I'll gladly teach you how, but make me something cute, okay? I'll see what I can do. <laughs> that, is, that relationship is actually kind of cute. All right. Well, I think we're getting close to wrapping up the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Hopefully in the next episode, we're learning a little bit more about what all this goddess 
shit is. So we'll be tackling that then. Make sure to smash that like button, show your support for the series, subscribe to the channel if you have not already to see more content like this, and I will see you.